In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to take our automatically opening gate that's powered through Kismet, and we're going to replace it with a K actor that's constrained so that we can actually use the physics gun and slide the gate open, and it'll try to spring back into place. So for starters, here we are in our simple level as it was completed. We're going to jump into Kismet and grab the matinee sequence driving the gate, and I'm going to nuke it out. So now this is just an interp actor that does nothing. We can even take out its trigger. Now I'm going to select this gate actor. I'm going to right click and let's go to finding content browser and that's just going to select SHU Deco SM Chainlink 02B or you could just grab that I suppose from the content browser but since we've already got this placed I'm going to right click and choose replace with and we're going to select add rigid body of the exact same mesh. Now it looks like nothing happened but now this mesh is a rigid body. Now you'll see that the mesh actually fits just perfectly against the top and bottom of the door frame. So I'm going to scale this down just a little bit in Z to 0.975. Now if I back up a little bit and we choose play from here, I can now shoot the gate. And I can, yeah, I can knock it out of the way and there you go. It's a dynamic gate. I can scroll down to the physics gun, I can pick it up and I can throw it around the level. In fact, if we just start the level off and go straight to the physics gun, I can't get through the gate, which is very irritating, but I can grab the physics gun and I can rip the gate off its hinges, which is very nice and kind of empowering. Now, what I'd like to do from here is set up a simple constraint so that this gate will slide back into its track just like it did before, but we're going to be able to open and close the gate, and it'll have a little spring that'll snap it back into place. So let's start off by going into the Actor Classes browser. And if you check underneath Rigid Body Base, in fact, let me go ahead and close everything up so you can see how this flows. You expand Rigid Body Base, expand R, <coughs> excuse me, RB Constraint Actor, and come down to Prismatic Actor. This is going to be for a prismatic constraint. If you're unfamiliar with the term, it means a constraint which will lock something down to move only in a single axis. With this selected, we can go ahead and close the actor class's browser. Let's right click here near the gate, and we're going to choose Add RB Prismatic Actor here. Now, it doesn't really matter where you place this constraint, but just to keep things easy to understand, we're going to keep it nearby the gate. We'll open up the constraints properties and expand RB constraint actor. It's got a very simple setup. All it needs is at least one actor. Now, if you only use one actor instead of two, then you're technically constraining the actor to the world, which is what we're going to do here. So let's lock this properties window. I'll select my gate. And then we'll take constraint actor one and click our green use selected object button. And there we go. Now immediately, the actor that you selected should be enclosed in a red box and have a line going from its center to the constraint actor. Now that alone will work. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to double click. Actually, let's unlock our properties window. Let's double click on our gate itself. And then under the K actor properties, I'm going to check wake on level start. So now let's test out the level. Choose play from here. And I'll roll over to the physics gun, and now we can slide the gate, like so. Now that's cool. That's very cool. However, there's not much friction, which I'm okay with, but I would like to be able to put a spring on the gate. So if we open it, it'll slam shut again. Now that's already inherent in our constraint actor, so let's go ahead and open that back up. Expand RB constraint actor. We're going to expand the constraint instance and step down to linear. Now you have two categories here, linear and angular. Linear controls actual motion in 3D space and angular is strictly rotation. Now let's take our uh, linear drive damping. Actually, before we do anything, let's make sure we check linear X position drive. What this is going to do is push the gate uh, back to its closed position. It's basically going to drive the gate to stay in its original position in X. Now we're going to play with our damping a little bit, because right now this is really being damped pretty heavily. We're going to set that down to 0.25. We're going to take our linear drive. Actually, let's not even worry about the limiter. Let's go down to the linear drive spring. We'll set this to 0.15, and all that's going to do, and I'm sorry, not 0.15, 15. 
All that's going to do is lighten up the spring so it's not fighting us quite so much. If we leave this to a default of 50, just to show you, because this physics stuff is so much fun to play with, uh, if we try to pull this open, you'll see, I mean, it just feels really heavy. We let go and it slams shut again. So if we go back in here and we set this down to 15, we actually stand a chance of opening the gate so that we can get in. So now if we grab the physics gun, we can slide this open. And when we let go, boom, it just pops shut again. So it becomes kind of a cool toy. So that's just a really quick walkthrough of a dynamic object setup we brought in at K-Actor, we constrained it in the world, and set it up in a practical manner that we could actually use in a level. That is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. Yes, 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 yes,